Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to do a Let's Play Ether Lords 2, an old game uh, from about 2003 I think. It was a really enjoyable game then, so I just thought I'd do uh, a Let's Play. This is my first Let's Play, so uh, it's going to be warts and all as they say. So we'll start off, uh, the tutorial is um, very basic, so I won't bore you with that, I won't insult anybody's intelligence. So we'll go straight into uh, campaign, a new game, and there are two, well I actually thought there was more, but in this uh, version there seems to be just two types of characters you can use, uh, there's the Chaos, which are sort of, obviously they look like the bad guys. Uh, and these Vitals, which are, I think, probably like elf type characters, are the good guys. So, um, when I played it a while back, I played as these guys, so I'm going to go for the uh, elves this time. Uh, you can get some information on each, each character by clicking on the I button. Using the power and magic of nature, one young Vital hero learns that it's not only her usual enemy she faces, but a new invader altogether. One who threatens the entire ether world and all she knows. And the same if you click on these guys, get some info. On the them. fiery chaos hero battles a host of different enemies, thrilling in his quest for loot and honor, as he also pursues the mysterious new invaders in his land. Okay. So we'll go with these as I said. world map. We have easy, medium and hard settings here, so I'll go with easy. Uh, bit of a wimp. And there we go. Loads really quickly, and uh, not like an hour, like some of the new games these days. Eileen, we the Vital Elders have a message for you. One week ago there was a border clash with the Synthnets near the Blackthorn Fortress at the northern border of the Forest Land. Since then, we have had no news from this area. You must drop everything. Hurry to the north and find out what has happened. Let your word be our word, and trust in the power of the forest. Creepy spider. Well, actually, they're not spiders. They're some sort of horse. Um, sorry, horse. Some sort of mount. I am Eileen of Rowan Clan, and I speak for the Vital Elders. Tell me what's happening here. Greetings, sister. Hurry and see Tian and the fortress commander. He's waiting for you at the central square. He'll tell you everything. Okay. The voice acting leaves a little bit to be desired, but, you know, what the hell? Greetings, forest maiden. You come to us fearlessly in the midst of war to dress our soldiers' wounds and bring water to quench their thirst. You are mistaken, Captain Tiernan. Your guards will dress my wounds when I return victorious from battle. But first, tell me what's happening here. Why is this border skirmish taking so long? Skirmish? Best call this war, sister. Enemy forces are moving on us in huge numbers. I've never before seen the like. View the battle in the magic font near the eastern wall and see for yourself. The treachery of their surprise attack has weakened us. But we marshalled our forces and withstood the blow. Cutscene. Hurry, my synthet warriors! We must capture the fortress before the Vital Barbarians send reinforcements! I think I don't think these guys are playable. My staff is in your hands, Tianan of Blackthorn Clan. Show me my place amongst your soldiers. 
The fortress is safe enough for now, but Kalan the Fearless has been holding the enemy at bay near Whitestone Outpost single-handedly for eight days now. Kalan's renown grows each day he maintains the defence, but even his strength has limits. More enemies keep arriving all the time, both by the sea and via the teleporter. You must help him counter their attacks. Okay, will do. Hang on, needs to speak to him again. Those rusty synthets are arriving through our teleporter. On the day of the invasion, the ether flows twisted and the teleporters went crazy. Many heroes who entered them disappeared without a trace. Now, a synthet monster can appear from a perfectly ordinary teleporter. Old men said the teleporters were a gift from those rusties many years ago as a token of peace. If this is so, then their gift was as ill-fated as the peace itself. Show me the quickest way to the outpost. The outpost is on the other bank of the river, and the quickest way to get there is through the teleporter, not yet under Synthet control. South of the exit, in the thick of the forest, lives the great mage, Rulana the Hermit. She might give you some very useful spells. Hurry to her, and may the power of the forest guide and protect you. Okay, off we go. Let's go find this teleporter. Let's see what this, this is first. Right, let's see, it's like a sort of, you can view what's going on through, uh, through that. Here's a teleporter. You can uh, zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel, as I'm doing there, and I think if you right click you can spin around as well, so that's pretty cool. Although you can't actually do that in the battle screens, but yeah, it, it doesn't really matter with it, uh, in that mode. So, um, if you look around these areas, um, there's an enemy there, but I, what I always do, I always look around for any resources that are lying around. Doesn't seem to be any here. Just spin the camera and have a look. Because you can find um, sort of plants. Uh, right down here, we have uh, these are the resources that you find. We have frozen flames, stones, and plants, and they allow you to buy upgrades, new cards, and stuff like that as you move through the game. Um, I might as well just go through the UI a little bit here before we take on this guy. Um, okay, here's the options. It's just the usual stuff in there. And uh, the map here. If you click on the map, it brings up the, the, the big map, which is good. Um, this is like an event log of everything that happens in the game. Um, I suppose it has, I don't know what purpose it serves really, but just to have a look at what you've been up to. And here is your inventory. Which I, this is your deck. And these are the, this is your area for cards that you collect in the game and cards that you buy. Uh, you can, I think you can put as many as you like in here because it scrolls down. But you're initially restricted to this um, small deck here. This, th this basic deck was what was in the uh, tutorial. But it, it doesn't take long before you get some uh, better cards and some better skills, etc. as you level up. Uh, here's your hero's health, which goes up as you level. This is his level, obviously. Specialization we don't have yet. And skills you get as you level. Artifacts are things that you get from drops and things like that. So it's pretty basic, pretty normal RPG sort of... Uh, this is very much like Magic the Gathering sort of type uh, mechanic, you know, with, with the, um, the cards and stuff. Um, I don't know whether anybody ever played uh, Magic the Gathering Battlegrounds, but it, it's pretty similar. But um, this is much better. Okay, so there's no resources around here, so we'll go ahead and click on uh, this guy.